Today we're talking all about earnest money. What earnest money is, how much earnest money is enough, who holds the earnest money, and what happens to it if a transaction doesn't close. Let's get into it right now. Hey everyone, I'm AK with the AK Realty Group, JP and Associates Realtors, and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel to learn all about the latest home buying information and hit the bell to get notified of my new videos. Now, earnest money. It's an important part of the home buying process that you may never have heard of, but could help you land the home of your dreams. Here's an explanation of how earnest money works in a real estate transaction. What is earnest money? Earnest money is an amount agreed to in a real estate contract that you will pay soon after entering into the contract as a show of good faith that you intend to purchase the property. If the deal closes, the earnest money is typically credited towards your down payment and other costs of buying the house. How much earnest money is enough? Choosing the right amount can show the seller you're a serious buyer. A larger deposit might be one way to make your offer stand out among other offers, but you want to choose an amount that you're comfortable with. Depending on the situation, usually 1% of the purchase price works very well. So if you're looking to make an offer on a $300,000 house, putting in $3,000 for earnest money should be fine. If you're trying to buy a house that's in a multiple offer situation, you should consider increasing that amount to show you're the more of a serious and more solid buyer than compared to the other ones that are buying that same house. Now who holds onto the earnest money? It usually goes to an escrow agent, an impartial third party such as the title company, who holds it until the transaction closes. Who gets the earnest money if the transaction doesn't close? If the transaction doesn't close, the terms of the contract determine who receives the earnest money. For instance, the earnest money is typically returned to the buyer if the buyer exercises his or her right to terminate during the option period. If you're out of the option period and the buyer and seller can't agree on who is entitled to the earnest money, things can get messy. If you have any questions about earnest money or are thinking of buying or selling your home, please be sure to download one of my free guides below in the description or you can contact me via text, call, or email. Also, please hit the like button and leave a comment below if you have any questions I can answer for you. See you on the next video.